Welcome to Swift Studios and today we will create a shadow effect which will look like this. So as you can see the small paper, paper is hovering and flying over the big paper and we will be creating this today. So let's close this and open your animate CC and create an action script 3. So first I will change the stage color to this and I will use rectangle tool we will choose null fill and we will choose white color for inside fill and we will create a rectangle based like this and convert this to a symbol so now this is our piece and what we can do is we can add drop shadow effect right now and put the distance as 1 px which is 1 pixel and strength to 50 percent now let's see now let's create another layer for the small paper we will name this layer big paper in where we have big paper and we will name the above layer small paper so in there we will create a small layer small paper so now let's create a small paper in that frame and convert this to a symbol and press ok now I want to move this over here and we will add drop shadow effect and choose strength to 50% and distance 1px 1 pixel now we will get something like this now let's scroll here to the side of the screen and let's make a dummy symbol and try out the properties of drop shadow effect so we have blur x and y we have strength and quality angle and distance and other effects and other things so first is let's change the distance so you can see as the distance increases the shadow and the object fall apart as the distance between them increases and you can see here the result of change in angle the shadow changes the angle with respect to the object if we increase the value of angle in quality we have low mid and high and higher quality gives smoother shadows like this and we have strength and blur x and y if we change the value of one it will automatically automatically change the value of both x and y and if we want to cast multiple shadows we can add another shadow effect and change the angle so you can see multiple shadows and this is a bit weird because there are three shadows instead of two anyway we don't need multiple shadows so let's remove this so you have to click in here and press minus so click in here and press minus over there so here is the minus click there and you can also delete this one we don't need this and this also now let's get get back to our animation now I want to make small paper hover over the large paper so in frame 20 I will insert keyframe for big paper 
and for small paper I'll create a classic twin and in frame 20 I'll insert keyframe and for this one I will choose the distance 10 or maybe 20 okay 20 is good and I'll choose the quality high so we get this smooth animation now till frame 30 the paper will stay still as well as the blank paper and we'll get something like this now let's move aside and in frame 80 I'll insert keyframe and do the same for big paper and move small paper to the other side and let's check that out so we'll get something like this and it moves through it frame 80 now let's move aside and in frame 90 the paper will stay still also the blank paper will also still still and now let's check this from front we have okay in frame 110 I'll insert keyframe for both and I'll make the paper come down by putting distance value 1 so you can see the paper is coming down or landing and then let's hit control enter which will give something like this so it looks pretty smooth and you can save this so I'll save mine to the desktop so let's go to desktop and create a new folder shadow animation and save this and press control enter to get swf file so now we can close this and so this is our folder that we just created and this one is from the before so let's compare our animation and it will look something like this which is a pretty much similar so this was for this video and I'll see you in the next video so let's close this and see you in